Dulu, 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 dulu. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. Get your checks for free. Uh. No, that ain't working. That's the way you do it. Let me tell you, them marketers ain't dumb. Ha! <laughs> ah. I'm G. Johnson, author of the book Trust Funnel, and today, while I'm out hiking beautiful Colorado Springs, I wanted to share with you some of the strategies and tactics that I'm using right now to be incredibly creative, come up with amazing ideas, push my marketing forward, and get results. What are we talking about? The subconscious mind. Whoa. So stick around, and as we hike, I'll share some of these ideas with you. Take care. So as we begin our journey and our hike up the canyon today, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever had an amazing idea that's just come to you out of the blue? Maybe you thought of a great idea for a new product or a way to solve a problem, and you thought, nah, that'll never work, or nah, the public wouldn't be interested, and lo and behold, all of a sudden someone comes out with the same great idea that you had, and they uh, get all kinds of great results. Maybe you had a problem, and you weren't sure how to solve it, and you thought about the problem hard, and you tried to come up with the answer, for a few days, and then finally, out of the blue, out of nowhere, when you weren't trying to solve the issue at all, you were struck with an amazing idea that helped you solve that problem. That, my friends, is your subconscious at work, and one of the things that's so powerful about your subconscious is it's working for you all the time, trying to solve problems, trying to move you forward, trying to position your, you in a position to get results, overcome your obstacle, achieve the success that you're after, and boom! Get the kind of results in life that you're after. Again, that's the subconscious mind. And in order to make that happen, the first thing you absolutely need to do, well, let's talk about it as we continue our hike. Hey, beautiful bird. Let's focus on the path, Otis. Remember those guys in Afghanistan? You don't want to end up like that. You want to go back, huh, buddy? We're going to turn back right now then, bud. Okay, you're the boss, lead the way. So the one thing that you absolutely must understand is what exactly do you want to achieve and how are you going to achieve it? This is why you see so many successful people talking about the thing or uh, the one thing or Napoleon Hill talking about what the mind can believe, the mind can achieve. Because when you understand what it is you want, that becomes a definitive goal. Uh, I want to make a bunch of money. That's, that's not a good example. It's not uh, precise enough. The mind doesn't understand how to move forward. You haven't really given the mind a problem to solve. Let's say you say to yourself, I want to be making a minimum of $10,000 a month immediately. And you begin to focus on that. That's the first step. And then number two is you can begin to ask yourself exactly what am I going to do in order to achieve that goal? What will it look like? What will I offer? If you're an internet marketer, how will I drive traffic? How will I convert that traffic? 
and so on. And when you have a clear understanding of what you want and how you're going to get it, your mind goes to work. And it helps to begin to process how to get what you want. Boom! Let me give you an exact example of how that just happened on this very walk. And it happened subconsciously. I wasn't even thinking of it. And then out of the sun, out of the boom, I had this amazing idea that I know is going to help me. And as we move forward with our journey in the beautiful Colorado Springs Canyon here, I'll share with you exactly what that was and is. See you soon. Let me give you an example on how this can really play out in your life. You know, last year in the fall, I began to write a physical book that I would publish with a publisher. In other words, I would deviate from self-publishing, which I've already done incredibly well at, and I would move on and learn a new skill to help me get what I want. And each day I would simply write a couple hours a day, an hour a day, four days a week. And in time, I had a, a tremendous manuscript that I'll be releasing as Trust Funnel. Now, once I finished on that task, I began to move to the next phase, which was how would I get the book into the, the, as many people's hands as possible? And in order to do that, my brain was given a task. It already knew what it's going to do. We're going to publish a book. And uh, the task at hand was to simply write. And once that was done, now how are we going to impact as many people as possible? How are we going to get the book out into more people's hands? So I was given a questionnaire by my publisher, Morgan James, an author publisher, uh, author questionnaire rather, where I was asked uh, what the book would cover, a little bit about myself, a bio of myself, and so on. And it also asked for several books that um, people that would be interested in my book would also be interested in reading. Now, Jeff Walker is also a, a publishing with Morgan James, and his book, Launch, will be coming out this summer. And another book that I read and uh, liked quite a bit was Michael Hyatt's Platform. And I'm on this walk, and I thought, at the crossroads of Michael Hyatt's Platform and Jeff Walker's Launch, you'll find Brian G. Johnson's Trust Funnel. And that's very, very accurate. My book goes into conversions, uh, driving traffic, and, a, and really kind of takes off uh, where Michael Hyatt's uh, platform uh, stops. It doesn't go as far into launching a product. It's more about driving traffic, making affiliate sales, building a list, and leveraging the tactics that I have. That's powerful. I mean, I love the way that comes off the tongue. Oh, at the crossroads of Michael Hyatt's platform and Jeff Walker's launch, you'll find Brian G. Johnson's Trust Funnel. And this is a great example of how giving your mind a task that subconsciously, when you're not even trying, these great ideas... So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the walk I took today with Otis and uh, a little bit of information about the subconscious mind. You know, this is why it's so important to know what you want out of life and how you're going to get it, how you're going to move forward. I encourage you to sit down and plan that out yourself if you have yet to do that. And you'll be amazed at how your subconscious mind will guide you towards the things that can help you get amazing results in life. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of a new format. Honestly, did you like the format? Did you hate that there was gaps between me talking? Did you like that? Leave me a comment below and that will help me tweak to give you better content in the future. Hey, Brian G. Johnson, take care.